So I just wanted to make a super quick video. I tested this out um, and I'm super pumped about it, but just the easiest way to make a humidor at home. I just got into cigars and tobacco and it's something that I really love. It's a really awesome way to just enjoy fellowship with um, other people. I really enjoyed it. It's been a real blessing and through that I've learned to enjoy it with some of my closest friends. We enjoy smoking cigars together and they kind of got me into this hobby and I started collecting cigars a little bit and what I was realizing is even though I do live in South Carolina, the humidity just isn't high enough for cigars. So I wanted to figure out like the best system for having a humidor that I could just leave at home and bespoke unit had actually kind of come up with this original idea and I refined it a little bit. So this is a Sistema, um, just a food grade storage Tupperware bin. It has a gasket and seals on all four sides. Um, important things to know about this is it's made in New Zealand and it's BPA free. So I washed mine out beforehand um, just to make sure that it was clean and you want to get something where you know what's in it and New Zealand has some pretty strict laws on all the things that go into the products that they have. So that's one of the reasons why I went for something from a country where I knew that everything would be safe. The next thing that you want is a Spanish cedar tray to hold your cigars. This is pretty important, but what I'll show you later, the way I actually use it is a little bit different because I like, I prefer smoking Churchill cigars and they tend to be a little bit longer of a roll and they just won't fit in this like standard sized tray. Um, the next thing you're going to want is the biggest, um, Boveda humidity pack that you can buy. You want to get 69% humidity, which is, it's a good average if you're just getting into cigars and you don't really differentiate between your old world and your new, new world cigars. It's a good humidity to keep cigars out if you're not trying to age them, which I'm not. I don't keep a ton on me. I think right now my current inventory of like personal cigars is somewhere about 20. So... I don't need a ton, but this works super well. It has a two-way humidity control. So if there's more moisture in the air than it needs to have, it'll take it out. And if there's a less moisture in the air than it is, it will let humidity come back into the air from this pack. So it can, can exchange it both ways. The last thing that I have is because I have a, a dorm, this is my apartment, and I'm usually not here in the summers. Um, I came in town to visit a friend and I thought I would make a quick video about this, but this is a Govy thermohygrometer. So it takes temperature, it takes humidity, um, that's the hygrometer part. It also can calculate things like dew point, um, I think in like vapor pressure. I'll show you later what it reads out, but it collects data continuously 24 seven. It's connected to my Wi-Fi and it's battery operated. So it uses a little bit of power really slowly and it's been running for about a month now with no issues. And I wanted something where I could check it from my phone anywhere across the world and not have to worry about it. So if I have an issue, I can ask, hey, hey, hey my roommates, hey, can you check on my humidor? Whatever. I don't All right, so I'm gonna open up the Govy app. And as you can see, I have my humidor hygrometer labeled. This is a thermo hygrometer. And it shows your temperature, it shows your relative humidity. And as you can see, it's also dropped a little bit spike in temperature, drop in humidity, because I did open up the humidor. Now, let me show you the other things that it shows. You have your dew point, if you scroll down, and your vapor pressure density, some useful things, but not that, Im not that important. And as you can see, the temperature is going back down and the humidity is increasing. Since we put the, the cigars back in the box, I did that really quickly off camera, just so I could show you how quickly the Boveda pack can recover the humidity it also helps because the cigars in the box are at humidity. Now, looking at the daytime scale, you can see where the temperature has kind of fluctuated. And now looking on the weekly, you can actually see the daily temperature cycles throughout each day. And you can see the relative humidity on average is parked right around 69, which is what we want to keep our cigars happy and healthy. Now, Looking at the month-long time scale, you can see the days and temperatures, 
where we had some little cold spikes. And also you can see how the humidity has really just approached 69 after where I put it in on May 26th. That's when I started it. And the humidity has climbed right up. Now, just going back, look at that temperature and the humidity climbing back towards the ideal values for our humidor box. Check it out. I want to go for a wood one because I want it to be as low maintenance as possible. And I do have Spanish cedar, cedar, which can help age and put a nice flavor into the cigars, but I didn't want to overdo it. And I wanted to have zero maintenance, except for, you know, changing batteries and buying a new Boba to pack. So let me open this thing up. And if you look, there is a gasket that goes all the way around because something that's important is maintaining that airtight seal so that your humidity pack doesn't have to like keep doing a ton of extra work. Once it brings the cigars to humidity, it kind of just keeps things hanging out as the same. And what I did, the way, I, the way that I did this, and I'm not s totally happy with this because I actually found a crack in this cedar tray, but I'm pretty sure it's because I dropped it. Not a big deal, um, it works just fine. So you take your Boba to pack, you put it down just like this, you take your thermo hygrometer and you put it in your bowl. So you have these two things sitting in the bottom and because of the length of my cigars and I wanted to be able to store them, the Tupperware box fits it, but the cedar tray, you know, there's a little bit of extra room. I actually turn it upside down. And what this allows for is there's, there's vents for all the humidity and the air to kind of pass through to exchange with the air and the rest of the the humidor, but it doesn't overwhelm the cigar is there, no, there's nothing touching and it keeps it all out of sight. So when I look, I'm like, oh, I can see the cedar through my tray. So I'm actually gonna take my cigars and I'm going to put them back in the tray. So I have some really awesome ones i have some from that are actually from honduras got shipped to france and then they got brought back to me i have some really long cigars like this and i love those because they're just so wonderful for if you want to hang out and like just talk to your buddies um or whatever it's a really great way just to you know enjoy that time with them because you're not having to like you can just smoke and enjoy it for a while and I'm just putting all of these kind of back in here, um, whichever way really please do the most. I kind of have some of my like cheaper ones over here that I don't care so much about. And then on this side, I have the ones that I kind of like prefer to have. Um, so as you can kind of see right here, it, I like can keep like this is my like my nice collection of cigars and then I have some cheaper ones and I'm storing some for my buddy in here to keep them at humidity but if you look you can see that gasket I was telling you about and looking from the front I have left some of my cigars in the cellophane um which is just my like personal preference I probably should take them out but I haven't really had the time so anyways you put this on and it creates an airtight seal and you can just snap it all into place. It's really easy to do in here. Boop. So that's all there and it's together. And I'm actually gonna go into my Govy app and show you what it looks like on the inside. Overall, <laughs> I'm super pleased with this. Um, it is the easiest way to do it, to be able to have peace of mind that my cigars are taken care of and the humidity is correct um, and that they're in a good environment just to let them mature and have good, better flavor. Just having that peace of mind with zero maintenance and being able to be across the country and know that they're fine or be able to have something to take care of them. That's what it's all about. So hope you enjoy it. And I think I put all the same for like 80 bucks.